two glittery ass cheeks on the bottom of this bar. Hello, bloody little owl. Look at this dog. I just can't see anything. Is that sexy single ladies? Oh, sorry, I've actually interrupted when I should have filmed it. and I've spent this morning editing and that's it. <laughs> Have my breakfast. And today we are blessed with torrential rain. So because of that, I was like, right, instead of just jumping in the shower and getting ready as quickly as possible, I don't need to do that today. So I'm gonna have a mid-morning bath and I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it and I'm going to have a proper pamper got a couple of little spots um, some are going down I woke up with a blackhead on my lip now let me tell you that was painful I'm gonna run a bath I'm gonna shave my legs use a really nice body scrub and I'm gonna like fully make the most of it instead of just like rushing in the shower. And I'm gonna do a face mask as well. So the face mask I'm gonna do is a 1-1 skin face mask. These are pricey. Um, I basically treated myself a couple of weeks ago and ordered some anti-blemish biocellulose facial masks in a pack of, I wanna say five, but I like these because there's a top half and a bottom half. We all know <laughs> I have a pea head. So sheet masks and my face don't tend to get on so well. Um, not really a match made in heaven, but when you can have a bottom part of a mask and a top part of a mask, much better. I'm gonna put some vlogmases on in the background. Me and Mark were talking about this yesterday because he was telling me his list of vlogmases that he is gonna watch when he wakes up every morning. And usually, when I'm doing vlogmas, I find it really hard to keep up with other people's vlogmases, if I'm watching anyone's in particular. So usually when I get like my Christmas bug in like spring, summer, by that I don't mean ill, I mean like when I get like an itching to be excited about Christmas, um, <laughs> I will watch people's vlogmases from December then, kind of like back to back. I'll just like binge watch the whole thing because they're all already there. But while I'm in my bath and I'm having my little pamper, I'm gonna pop some vlogmases on. Well, let's start by running the bath, shall we? And then I think I'll start deciding on what scrub I wanna use and I'll keep you updated on my pamper concoction. Do you know what's funny? I had a bath in here, what night was it? It was the first, so two nights ago, not last night, but the night before. And I'd used a bath bomb that was kind of glittery and I forgot to like rinse the glitter out. And you can see my ass cheeks, like two glittery ass cheeks on the bottom of this bath. Can't say it looks too flattering, I'm not gonna lie. whilst I'm filming and then attempt to take this off afterwards. Oh, there's a lot of juice in there. Right, so this is the top bit. Wow, this is wet. Oh my goodness, it's dripping everywhere. Do this over a sink. 
these things always confuse me right and now i think i place this on here oh my goodness it's very cold i look like a little owl <laughs> and then i think there's also another layer take that off okay there's the top done the smell of this really reminds me of something and i swear i said this in my other video with mark it was a different 111 um mask they just all remind me of like fragrances i wore as a teenager this one smells different but it still smells like a fragrance i wore as a teenager There we go. Okay. <gasps> okay, that's filling everywhere. How long do I leave this on for? 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> See you after the bath. Out the bath, feeling fresh. Um, it's not a hair wash day, so we've gone for a little slick back pony. Might even put it into a little bun. Not sure yet. I feel like it's going to be all in the makeup because I, I mean, I feel like that face mask actually has made me feel a little bit more fresh in the face. Um, but just quickly, before I carry on getting ready for the day, I've just put my deodorant on and got dressed and I thought this would be a great segue into talking to you about Native's new plastic free deodorant. So as you know, I have worked with Native across this year and absolutely loving their deodorant. Not only their deodorant actually, this isn't part of um, the sponsorship that I'm doing with them, but I also use this like every day and it's their shower gel, but I will get to this scent in a second because it's also also the fragrance of the deodorant that i'm currently using so as i said native have a new plastic free so zero plastic deodorant and it looks like this this is actually in the this is in the scent candy cane this is one of their festive scents which smells incredible native is also a proud partner of one percent for the planet and they commit one percent of sales of the plastic free deodorant to environmental non-profits which is also very cool like all their deodorants they are vegan cruelty free and they are free of any parabens any sulfates and also free of aluminium so one of the reasons that i love working with native but also love using native and getting to recommend it to you is that it works for me so well i love it i love all the fragrances they have i love all those things i just listed the fact that it just feels like I'm doing something great for my armpits. It's not sticky, it dries really quickly. Um, although it is worth noting that it does take a couple of weeks for you to get used to it. So if you have been umming and ahhing about whether to try a more natural deodorant or to give Native a go, and you've seen me mention this in a couple of videos, but you haven't taken the plunge yet, I do have a discount code, which I will leave in the description box below. You simply click the link and using code ZOE3 will get you 30% off your plastic free pack. If you need any help deciding on any fragrances, a couple of my favorites are the Blood Orange and Clove. That's the one that I also have in the shower gel. This one smells like Christmas. I love it. A firm classic favorite that I use most of the time is the Cotton and Cedarwood. I love this one. Candy Cane smells divine. And a couple of other festive scents are Sugar Cookie and Vanilla and Chai, which they've sent to me in these little testers so that I could smell them. As I said, I will leave the link below along with the code. And if you fancy it, head on over, give it a try. Let me know what you think. It's time to sort my face out. I'm gonna pop a little bit of vitamin C serum on drip 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 I do apologize for the lighting my everyday go-to makeup that I've been doing recently is nothing that new <laughs> from anything I have been kind of sharing in the last couple of months or half a year still loving my bare minerals still loving my collection um concealer and as i said i need to sort my makeup out i need to see what i've got 
I need to have a big clear out and I need to get experimenting a little bit. I actually did wear much heavier eye makeup yesterday, <laughs> if you noticed. Um, but generally I stick to, I stick to the same old, I'm so boring. Oh, I need to put some moisturizer on. Embryolisse, Le Creme Concentrate. Just a tiny bit, it's quite a, I wouldn't say it's a heavy moisturizer, but it does a good job. Let that sink in for a second. You know what, I might go for like a golden eye and a berry lip today. What do we think? Got this Too Faced Melted Matte, liquefied matte longwear lipstick in the shade Drop Dead Red. And, or do I go for an actual red? A gold and a red lip. It's a bit more festive, isn't it? Nasty girl. Let's do that. I'm gonna go for a red. This is very cool red. I might do this one. This is hot stuff. I also have this one, which is candy cane. I basically really love these melted mattes. Uh, those and the Tarte liquid lip formulas are my favorite. Collection. I would say my skin is, is actually really clear everywhere else except where I have spots. <laughs> Don't know whether that's a kind of a contradiction, but I know what I mean. I used to get quite bad marking and scarring, but I would say anywhere I don't have a blemish or a pimple or like a mark from a pimple, my skin is like, now I've covered up like certain areas, the rest of my skin is very clear. Just need to get those little marks gone. That do. Then I go in with a bit of Bare Minerals Faux Tan. Oh my goodness, the rain. I'm just gonna lightly dust. Not that you can really see anything right now because we have the worst lighting in the world. A little bit of this. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Highlighting Blush. It's a really pretty like peachy pink and it has a little bit of a glow about it we don't want too much because we're going for a red lip right a little bit of nars wanted one palette and this is the highlighter that i have completely obliterated in this and it's called unlimited bit of that for a healthy glow I don't know where Nala's gone. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to do my brows using the same thing I always use at the moment, which is the Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. I'm going to have to lean really close right now to do this. One. That looks terrifying. There we go. I feel like it's getting darker by the second. <laughs> Um, now I'm using a little bit of the Hourglass Arch Fiber Gel in Warm Brunette, which I don't think is my colour, but it's the one I'm currently using. <laughs> Just to give the hairs a bit of definition. Don't know about you, but I'm still very proud of myself for growing out my overplucked sperm brows from my early 20s. <laughs> Oh dear me. I'm gonna use this palette, which is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, and looks like this. One of them arrived smashed, which I was a little bit sad about. I should probably just put a bit of vodka in there and press it down, but I'm not too sure I'll be any good at doing it. Okay, and I'm gonna use a little bit of Fairy, which is a nice champagne gold. I don't really wear this colour on my eyelids much. I normally go for quite a warm tone. Now a little bit of a brown in the crease. I really feel like watching a Christmassy film today. I think it's the rain. When me and Alfie woke up this morning, it was still so dark outside that it completely threw us off. We were like, what the hell is the time? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of the same colours underneath. 
mascara is the one I've been using for a couple of months now. It's the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I love this. Now all that is left is my Melted Matte Lip Colour. And I'm going to go for the hot stuff. I do and then I am going to do my hair in a little bun so I'm just going to twist it round and secure it with another hair bubble there we go let me spin you around so you can actually see in in real light <laughs> that's better look at that mascara though that mascara is a 10-10. Thought I put a lot of bronzer on, but I definitely didn't. <laughs> I am gonna head downstairs and I'm gonna get cozy and I'm gonna sit by the fire. Um, I need to do a little bit of work and then who knows what the day will bring. <laughs> I'm now sat in front of my laptop and I found Nala. She was down here by the fire, <laughs> so she had the right idea. She's obviously now on my lap and I've popped a Christmas film on. I'm gonna let you guess from the music. Have you guessed yet? Have you made your guess? Because I'm about to show you what it is. I've popped Home Alone 2 on. Yes! I love this film, but also it makes me really miss being in New York. I just love New York. And I honestly, I never thought I would say that. <laughs> I just loved it. And being there at Christmas time was just magical. And I wish more than ever right now with this rain hammering down outside that I was wandering the streets of New York with all the treats in my hand. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get my New York Christmas fix from this film. Oh, look at that. I just, I know that's not New York, but that's house goals. That's what we're going for with our house. <laughs> one day, one day we'll have lights around every window and then I will feel like I've completed life. <laughs> look at this dog. You're having a little cuddle, weren't you? <laughs> she is so needy. I'm gonna guess, I feel like I said this in a vlog recently, but I think pets are gonna be so needy now because, oh, my bun's coming out. Because we're just at home with them all day long and they're just getting far too comfortable. <laughs> She's stuck to me like a magnet. How do you expect me to get any work on my laptop done when you're sat on my lap like this? Oh, I do love it though. I do love it. Thanks for all your cuddles. You've been my 2020 cuddle buddy, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I finished what I needed to do and then I remembered that I didn't do this yesterday and I haven't done it today and I fancied myself a bit of chocolate and I thought, hmm, what chocolate have I got? Let's open day two. Can you do a Christmas dance? Exactly. <laughs> little elf. All right, man, speak soon. All right, man, speak soon. I'm gonna make a guess who that is. Three, two, one, Dave. I'm psychic. No, it wasn't. Swear on my life. It was your mum. No, it wasn't. It was, I was just catching up with Tracy. Why are you going to bed? I'm not, I'm just cold. It's cold. Isn't it? Is our heating on? Yes. Number three. Have you done your calendar today? No, I haven't yet, actually. I just need to quickly go make another call. Have you written to Santa? Hi there, is that sexy single ladies? Oh sorry, I'm still in the room, didn't realise you were filming. 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't check what it was. Sorry. It's a Father Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Father Christmas. I was gonna chat to you about something because I've been thinking this for a few months and I could be going crazy, you know, just overthinking, which is exactly what my mind does anyway. I am the sort of person that is, and this could be because I have a more <laughs> susceptible mind to anxiety, overthinking, um, worrying about everything i'm basically constantly living in the past and the future and i'm very rarely ever just living in the present <laughs> my mind will always be ticking over something um and i don't know if it's because i have a mind like that that i feel very very in tune with my body with how i feel with any tiny little physical change <laughs> i feel like my eyesight so i have only had glasses when did i get these did i get these this year i feel like i got these this year because it was just before lockdown i got my first prescription age 29 months away from turning 30 i was told i actually needed glasses for oh was it for close or far away or both i should probably check that it's not a very strong prescription at all um, in fact, I think it was 0 0.5 and I know if I'm spending a lot of time on my laptop If I'm looking at a lot of screens if I'm on my phone a lot if I'm really concentrating or reading a lot of something um, My vision starts to go quite blurry like more blurry than like What my glasses can correct and I've worked out. It's always When I start my period is that linked do you, do you get blurrier vision? Can hormones affect your vision is, I guess, the question I'm asking. Do you know what? I'm going to Google it. Probably shouldn't, but I just feel like on the first day of my period, TMI, happy vlogmas, <laughs> I just can't see anything. Maybe I need a stronger prescription or I... Yeah, yeah, last time. <laughs> Can you stop? I'm checking if my period affects my eyesight. <laughs> Oh, I was checking that out as well. <gasps> During the first week of menstruation, the typical elevated estrogen level can, claw can cause blurred vision, trouble focusing and watery eyes. I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay, well that makes total sense. Both of these changes can lead to blurry vision and difficulty wearing contact lenses. Uh, do you know when you're eating something really good? I was just finishing off that pastry I bought this morning and I just went back into the kitchen to go and get the rest of it. And I've already finished it. I swear it was here. No, I just I just ate the rest of it now, but I thought I'd absolutely left a bit in the kitchen. And then I went back and I, it's, I ate it all. Are you having a good day? Very productive. productive day. However, not very productive on the blog front. You've I've vlogged stopped, a lot you? early this morning. Yeah, but you've had meetings. That's really hard to vlog. I'm, I, do you know what? I'm just going to chill now and I'm just going to finish watching Home Alone 2. Yeah. Sometimes when Alfie does Nala's dinner, he just walks into the kitchen. At this time, by the way, yes, I fell asleep. I now have like lines on my face. Um, he walk. All he does is just walk into the kitchen, and she just knows that he's about to do it. Yeah. I literally just got my camera out and went. I'm gonna see how long, and then I hit. She was sat here just like staring. Oh, you have to go and do it now. Look yeah, at her. Are you just waiting? <laughs> She's so smart. She already knows he's doing it. Oh. was a fork in the bowl also watching Kirsty's handmade Christmas which is again very festive it's been a day of festive content it's now the evening I've taken off my makeup and Alfie and I are just watching 
I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. And they did the cyclone. Oh my God, that just looks so hard. Um, Do you reckon you'd be good at it? Which position would you want to go in? Being serious. I would want to go where G was. First. Yeah. Oh, Siri. Siri. Uh, I would be so scared of falling and like hurting myself or like face planting the ground. I don't know, I just think I would... You also, would, you're so be... light, I feel like you get blown over so easy. Also, I just feel like you need, like, long legs. Like, you'd be good, you could just run to the end. That's, that's what we're up to. And so I'm gonna end this video here. Nala's already asleep. And it's just been a very nice chilled evening. One quick thing I wanted to say was thank you so much for all your amazing, amazing comments. I was reading through all the comments on the vlog yesterday and today and you're all just so lovely and I'm so happy that you are excited to have Vlogmas or, you know, a version of Vlogmas. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again tomorrow where we are gonna go and get our Christmas tree, which I'm excited about. So I will see you there. Good night.